Welcome to the Motion Tag series. In this series of short clips, we'll introduce you to all the tags associated with Motion Layout. Today, we're going to talk about key position. All of these animations use at least one key position, and they are critical to achieving many animation effects. First, a little background on how Android draws views. First, user position relative to each other. Then, they may be transformed through rotation, scale, or other effects. Then they are drawn. Key position affects the layout stage. A key position tag can have many attributes. First, the motion target defines the view or views associated with this key position. It can be an ID or a regular expression matching a constraint tag. Frame position defines where along the animation this key position takes place. It can be one of 101 positions. These three attributes deal with the path the view will travel. We won't cover them for now. And these attributes control the bounds of the view um, at that frame position. Key position type determines how the coordinates in percent %x and percent %y are interpreted. There are three different key position types, delta relative, parent relative, and path relative, and each dramatically affects how the coordinates are interpreted. With delta relative, the start and end points define the 0, 0, and 1, 1 of the coordinate system. You can see an example of how this can be used here. With parent relative, the coordinate system is that of the motion layout itself, with 0, 0 being at the top left and 1, 1 being at the bottom right. In this example, the sun needs to touch the top of the layout, so it's useful to use the parent relative. Finally, there's path relative. With path relative, the line between the start and end defines the x-axis, and y is perpendicular to it. Looking at various values of percent %x for delta relative, you see that the curves are a little different for 0, 0, and 1, and 1, 0. They start and end on vertical lines. This is a property of monotonic splines. Percent width and height allow you to manipulate their change from start to end, with 0 being the size of the start and 1 being the size of the end. In summary, key position is a powerful tool in bringing your animations to life. We've made a lot of progress in this series, only a few more keyframe tags are remaining. Next in this series, we'll discuss key attribute. See you in the next one.